Mike Stinnett has been battling alcohol addiction for four decades and is now sober. I'm happy. Stinnett now works full time at Hendron Plastics after completing the program at DARP. Both DARP and CARE are mentioned in a lawsuit filed October 23rd in Benton County that also names Simmons Food and Hendron's Plastics. In the lawsuit, two men allege they were mistreated by the drug court mandated programs and were never paid for the work they did at these companies. Stinnett says he was never paid in the program but says he knew that was how the program worked. Did they pay you? Uh, no, no, no. That was part of the arrangement you did. Uh, you work for your uh, treatment. You work for your room and board, your counseling and you know, transportation, whatnot, all they provide. In Benton County, the head drug court judge tells 4029 that the DART program is used as a last option for convicted felons when other treatment facilities fail. But for Stinnett, he says he asked his probation officer to put him in the DART program while he was on probation for violating a protective order. Hendron Plastics plant manager Justin Durham says Stinnett was hired after he completed the program. The first day they come in, we train them, we pick a position that they fit best in and go there. There's been several of them that come in that has never had a legitimate job. Um, this is their first job they've really had and you can see improvement. Hendron Plastics owner, State Senator Jim Hendron, says that his company paid DARP $9.25 an hour per employee plus overtime for their work. Durham says after the program, some end up making $11 an hour. Just to have the reassurance of having the opportunity to have a job right out of a program where like if they were in prison or something, when they re release, more than likely they're having to look for a job on their own. Hendron Plastics ended its contract with DARP this week after the lawsuit was filed. Durham says 13 people were impacted. A lot of them guys were really needing this job. You know, uh, with, I know a lot of guys are in drug court and whatnot and on probation and that's a stipulation of their you know, they have to keep full-time employment, plus do a lot of stuff, you know, and uh, they were really counting on this job and needing this job.